one will miss this out of order sign. Sorry, Dolores had to witness that. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. When the screen scrolls, it moves by... Next question. What is the total number of sounds that can be defined for a game? Next question. How many actors can be displayed at one time? Next question. Variables can be modified while debugging your program. Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. The glass is now filled with water. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. The ink bottle is now mostly full with gas. 
The ink bottle is now full of black ink. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. There, the blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. Yay, I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I always like to watch this part. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. My letter to Mucus Phlegm is now stamped and ready to mail. How exciting! I hope I get the job! Hiya, Dolores. I have a letter for you. Oh! Good luck. See ya. It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the job? It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the... I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh... To be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over ten million dollars. 
That's 20 million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. I'm sure you have cats to feed, sweetie. Ciao. If by look at, you mean smell, I've already done that. There's no path beyond this point. It just looks like unfinished temp art from a cut room. That Ransom the Clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. Here's your WC67 tube. Thank you. Oh, fixed. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. The bar's out of business. Could have used a stiff one. These must contain journalistic gold, or old classified ads. I don't want to open it. It's a Color Copy Tron 3000. Color Copy Tron 3000, for all your copying needs. Copies, five cents each. Gutenberg would be proud. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. Good guess, Scoop. You spend as much time as I have dealing with law enforcement. You get a second sense of this stuff. Plus the cheap suits. Mm, mostly the cheap suits. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of odd Reno. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Chuck? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. He pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. Well, owned, he died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. What else do you know about Chuck? He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Go on. Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. Aardvark insemination? Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think. He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there. The Copytron 3000. Then... Mm -hmm. 
kill me more. The big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Many blame the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced, and the factory's been closed for years. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Body found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? Clark Kent. If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. This pillow factory fire story is my ticket out of here. We'll need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. Don't you mean the 25th Amendment? Nope. That addresses succession to the presidency and establishes procedures for filling a vacancy in the office of the vice president. Don't you mean the 15th Amendment? Nope. That prohibits the denial of the right to vote based on race, color, or previous condition of servitude. Don't you mean the 19th Amendment? Nope. That prohibits the denial of the right to vote based on sex. Don't you mean the 17th Amendment? No. That establishes the direct election of the United States Senators by popular vote. Don't you mean the Third Amendment? Nope. That places restrictions on the quartering of soldiers in private homes without the owner's consent, prohibiting it during peacetime. Don't you mean the 11th Amendment? No, that makes states immune from suits from out-of-state citizens and foreigners not living within the state borders and lays the foundation for sovereign immunity. Don't you mean the 15th Amendment? Nope, that prohibits the denial of the right to vote based on race, color, or previous condition of servitude. Don't you mean the 10th Amendment? Nope. That reinforces the principle of federalism by stating that the federal government possesses only those powers delegated to it by the states or the people through the Constitution. Don't you mean the Ninth Amendment? No. That protects rights not enumerated in the Constitution. Don't you mean the Nineteenth Amendment? Nope. That prohibits the denial of the right to vote based on sex. Don't you mean the Eighth Amendment? Nope. That prohibits excessive fines and excessive bail, as well as cruel and unusual punishment. Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? Not a chance. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. <laughs>